Hello virtual racers, my name is Jason and this is Pit Lane Sim Racing and in today's video we're going to be diving back into Automobilista 2 as we check out the 1999 Chevrolet Omega Brazilian stock car. We're going to be doing a 15 minute sprint race around the Cascavel circuit as we find out what makes this car such brilliant fun to race. So come and join me after the intro as we get stuck into some classic Automobilista 2 stock car racing. Okay, race fans, you join me again in Automobilista 2 as we check out some more new content from the guys at Razor Studios. And this time, we are sat in the Chevrolet Omega, which during the late 90s was the uh, mainstay of the Brazilian stock car series. And we are hammering our way around the high-speed Cascavel circuit in Brazil. And we have got a full grid of AI opponents to have some fun with. So what are we racing in today? Well... As I said, this is the Chevrolet Amiga. Those of you in the UK will probably better know this car as the Vauxhall Carlton. But either way, even with the little aerodynamic touches that uh, these cars have been adorned with, they really are just overpowered bricks in their most basic form. And this, once again, is a true masterclass in old school racing. We've got a great big torquey straight six. All the power to the rear wheels. No ABS, no traction control. And then all has to be fed through a five-speed H pattern box so these are real drivers cars now I initially overlooked these cars in favor of the group C's but I gotta say I did the uh, Omega in injustice because they are absolutely fantastic to drive they are just so uncomplicated, just raw, in your face. And because you haven't got to worry about aerodynamics, you know, downforce, you can run in a pack, you can run together and really hunt the other cars down without worrying about making the next corner. So it leads for some really close and intense racing. The left side tires are cold. And you have to well, <laughs> really feather that throttle. Just be careful. Because these things don't own understeer, they oversteer by the bucket load. Oh 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 Okay, side by side down the start finish straight. We're gonna go two by two through this first turn. Oh, see, you just have to dance them off the throttle. Ah, oh, the physics is absolutely brilliant. The communication back through the wheel. You can feel when that back end is starting to swing out. It doesn't snap away, it's a lazy swing round because the, these cars are long, they're heavy, so you get that pendulum effect 
and you feel that through the wheel. You can just gently feel it applying some pressure, trying to force the wheel in the opposite direction so you know that you've, you know, got to get on top of it. You've got to get a grip of the wheel and start applying some opposite lock to bring that car back in, bring that back end back round so it doesn't end up trying to overtake the front. But that's coming back through the wheel. So yeah. what the Ruser team have done with the force feedback and handling of these cars, of this sim in general, it's just night and day compared to how it used to be. These things are just amazing. I don't think I've played this sim title quite so much as I have done in the last three months. The AI, they put up a really good battle. I have turned the aggression down slightly because they, the level of argy bargy did get a little intense. And once again, I do need to be given a little bit of a break from the AI just to leave a bit of spare capacity to better talk about what I'm driving. But what, where would we be without Automobilista 2? What other sim racing title would give us a 1999 Omega? You know, we get a chance to drive some of these unknown to us Brazilian tracks. I'm here around Cascavel. It's like a high speed high speed circuit that's oh it's just got enough in the way of variation to make it demanding but it doesn't take a year to learn the layout so you can jump in and quickly be up to speed I'm using my Oculus Rift S and oh this is one of the best titles out there for VR support. The graphics are crisp, clean and clear. It's buttery smooth. And you don't have to muck about. There's no fiddling around with files and this and that. I think we all laughed and raised our eyebrows when they first said they were going to use the Madness engine. I think a lot of us have got to sort of eat our words a little bit there. Because this is just... This is turning out to be one of the best sim racing titles on the PC at the moment. Oh, let's try Whoa, ho, ho, ho. that was all on the throttle squirming away trying to get some power down yeah I'm lucky enough I've got a SHH shifter which I can drop into H pattern mode so you combine that with a load cell brake and my uh, direct drive wheel and you know, when you're sat here in this virtual cockpit. <laughs> it's just... Oh. It's hard to describe really how immersive it is. What a fantastic driving experience it is. You have to be on your toes so that the car doesn't get away from you. But again, you can't take it too easy because the AI are competitive. They do give you a good fight. I love the fact that they keep you on your toes. And how, how good do these cars look? I know the car itself will never win any beauty competitions. But they're so perfectly modelled. 
They look absolutely fantastic. Look at that, look. We've got all the liveries, all the drivers. Oh, it's just... It's just, you've got to, you know, be so thankful that there are developers out there who are making niche content within a niche genre. This is done because they want to do it, not because they're going to make money out of doing it. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. And you've got to respect them for that. Okay, we'll get round, we'll start the next lap, and I shall be quiet for a moment. Let you hear what this uh, big old motor sounds like. Hey, don't, doesn't that sound good? <laughs> and man, for a big old lump, it it really can rev. I don't know if you noticed as well, the flame shooting out the exhaust. As they snap the throttle shot, shut even. It's all these... It's all these little details, it's all attention to detail, it's all all adds to that smile, that tingly feeling you get when you know you you are racing in some quality made content. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. oh I just love it. It's just such a lazy car. You know it, it when the back end starts to step out, there's, it, it's almost like it writes you a letter, letting you know its intention. You've got plenty of time to bring it back in line as quick or as slowly as you feel comfortable with. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. it's quite heavy on tyres. So look, starting to get a little bit of understeer now as we get close to the. End of the race, where we've pushed a little hard now, look, and we're starting to lose that edge. But again, that just adds to the fun. Look at this, look, we're now up the sharp end of the pack. They are battling away hard using all the track and a bit more, judging by the amount of grass and dust they're kicking up. But you watch them battle away, jink about, grab a little bit of grass or curb here, and it, you forget that they're AI for a moment or two. Look at them using all the track, trying to find a space, trying to gain an advantage. You know, you don't want that formalatic approach where they just sit under, you know, behind each other. And the only time they ever move or interact is when you come through. You want to see them fighting themselves, battling away. Oh, 
I'm almost a little scared to get involved. They seem to be battling so intently. I could end up getting roughed up a bit. So we're coming to the end of the race now. This is our look at the 1999 Amiga Touring Car or Stock Car by Razor Studios for Automobile Blaster 2. And do we like it? Oh yes. We like it. If you haven't got Automobile Blaster 2, shame on you. Don't worry about what was said about it when it first came out. It's not the same title. Get it. Just buy it. The amount of content you'll find in this title is amazing. There are cars and tracks in there that you will have never seen or heard of before. And it's a chance to just get away from Spa, GT3s. What other sim title are you going to get a chance <laughs> to drive what is essentially a Repmobile around a high-speed Brazilian circuit? You tell me. Answers on the postcard. Right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our look at uh, this car on AMS2. If you did, come on, give us a thumbs up. You know you want to. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you in the next one. In the meantime, remember, race hard always race fair see you later bye bye